Three people have died in a fire at a boarding house in Sydney's inner west. A fourth person is unaccounted for. Crime reporter Mark Reddy is live for us in Newtown. Mark, police believe this fire was deliberately lit. Juanita, this is now a murder investigation because detectives believe an accelerant was used to light the fire. One witness told police she saw a shirtless man running down the street from the scene. Given boarding houses are places where people come and go, investigators have so far been unable to account for everyone. There was an explosion and then an orange glow lit up the night sky. Oh my God, is someone in there? Within minutes, this boarding house became swallowed in flames and detectives believe this was no accident. At least 11 people were staying there, possibly more. Three men were killed in the inferno, a fourth is feared dead. Eight managed to escape, including Ronnie, who was forced to jump from the first floor. Apparently he was on fire and we're only assuming that he, he jumped through his window but there was, there was no other way out for this guy. Unable to walk, the 80-year-old was helped by locals before paramedics took over. He suffered a heart attack in hospital and is now in a critical condition. I've never seen that man that colour in my life. It was a mixture of grey and green. Ronnie is a regular at the pub across the street where he recently celebrated his birthday. Now, if Ronnie gets relocated, he's obviously not going to move back there. If he pulls through, that'll, that'll finish him. He's got nowhere to go. He's, he's, he's sort of person that this is his community, this is his life. Daylight revealed a building in ruins. What was a safe refuge for those struggling to get back on their feet is now a crime scene. We're treating this as a murder. We're treating this as a maliciously lit fire. With some sort of accelerant used. The arson and homicide squads are now leading the investigation. The owner of the boarding house, Albert Wong, owns several properties across Sydney. Detectives have been unable to contact him and are urging him to come forward. There's nothing to suggest he's being... Um, he's trying to avoid police. We just haven't caught up with him yet. Investigators have been unable to access all areas because of structural damage, so it's possible the death toll could rise. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.